In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email account on Windows Live Mail. And you do need to make sure that you've already created a domain email account before you get started. So let's begin. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email account on Windows Live Mail. And Windows Live Mail is an email client that allows you to manage multiple email accounts in one place and also lets you save your emails for offline viewing. So let's open up Windows Live Mail, choose Tools, Accounts, and click Add. So we're creating an email account, click Next. And here, you can put in the information for the email account that you've already created. So I'm just going to input my information for my Cupcake Company email. And put in the password that goes along with it. And here, I'm going to put in my display name. And this is the name that others will see when I send out my emails. So I'll just put in Auntie. And I'm going to choose to manually configure the server settings for the email account. So in this video, I'm going to create an IMAP account. Just change that right here. And IMAP allows for two-way communication between the mail server and the email client, which right now is Windows Live Mail. So for example, if you made a change in Windows Live Mail, such as deleting or marking an email, that change would also be made in the mail server. So to find our incoming server information, I'm going to go into website.com. Put in my password. Go to manage email. And copy this information right here. go back to our setup and I'll paste that information and I'm going to require an SSL connection so I'll just check that box off and you'll notice that the port has changed so leave that as is so we're going to log on using clear text authentication right here and our login ID is the same as your email address so I'll just fill that in so for our outgoing server that's the same information as for your incoming server just paste that and we're going to again check off the SSL connection and you'll notice this time that the port hasn't changed so we'll have to manually fill that out and change that to 465 and because website.com does require authentication every time you send out emails check off this box right here to require authentication click finish and now we can close that click OK and here's your account and this is your inbox with all your emails in there so that's it it was super simple to set up that account if you have any more questions or comments you can always contact us at website.com through live chat through submitting a ticket and through telephoning us see you soon